Hello and welcome to Tisha's Tips number three. Today I'm going to talk about doing cardio classes online or taking live stream classes. Uh, we are so used to having a gym, having space around us, floors that are meant for the purpose of the workout that we're doing, but in our home it is not so. So number one, what survey the space that you're going to work at work out in. I still have things on the floor from my video yesterday. So make sure you have things picked up off the floor. Re, you might need to rearrange furniture. I have my luggage that I keep out as a reminder that although my trip to Italy was canceled for this spring, I know that eventually eventually I'll be traveling again so I keep my luggage out as a hopeful reminder. Clear those out of my space. I have space to move side to side. I have space to move forward and back. It's a little tight but I have but I am aware of how much space I have. I absolutely love this carpet that I am that I'm on but it is an area rug which means as I move on and off of it, I it, it can shift, I can catch a toe or a heel, and it could cause a tripping hazard. So if I were going to be doing cardio here, this would be a roll up and get out of the way. Dancing on carpet is not optimal, but the flatter the carpet, the better. And it, uh, so if you have to be on carpet, uh, at least get the area carpets off and so that you're just on the wall to wall, which is fixed and will not catch the feet quite so much. What you, um, what you wear on your feet is going to make a difference. Let me grab a couple of shoes. So most of my shoes are meant for dance fitness. So you'll notice they have this and not a ton of tread. If you've got a lot of tread on the bottom of your shoe, it's not going to be optimal for dancing on a carpet. It's not, it's not optimal for dancing, period. So either wear a different shoe that has a flatter surface. So you'll notice this one, even though, can you see that one? Even though this one is, has the pivot spot, it has a lot more tread. So I would wear a flatter tread for working on carpet as opposed to this one. This one is this one catches a bit more. The other option are um, the little dance socks that you can wear that go over your shoe and help to um, release some of that tread. If you have no big issues with dancing in bare feet, go ahead. That's up to you. But if you are doing something that's higher in a higher intensity or you do a dance style that involves a lot of uh, hop, hopping and jumping and very ballistic movement then uh, again you might want a shoe. Today I wore very bright socks because I want you to be able to see my feet as I demonstrate just a couple of things. Number one, changing directions especially on carpet. The carpet is going to tend to want to catch your feet and so when you try to change directions you can be creating a lot of torque for ankles, knees, hips, all the way through your back. To prevent that I'll turn the other way and this is going to be really exaggerated. You don't need to get your heels up as high as I am going to show. I just want to demonstrate so you can definitely see it. You're moving one direction, stop, I'm going to change, go back the other way, heels up, pivot, change, up, pivot, change, up, pivot, change. This is a change of direction, change, 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 change. A very popular move that we do in Cumbia is called the machete. Uh, in Zumba, which 
you pivot to the front, you come to the center, you pivot to the back. I, on carpet, often will demonstrate this with my heel way up and exaggerate that so people can see that they need to release their foot, their heel off the floor, because that is definitely a pivot. As you emulate chopping down, chopping down the sugar cane. Turn, turns hopefully are minimized, but if turns just are not working out great for you, leave the, tur leave the turns out. They're pretty optional. Um, keep your knees soft as you're working out and keep your, gore, uh, your core engaged, as I already talked about, in tissue tips number one and two. And here I am talking about it again in number three. So you know that's really important. At, for dance fitness, we do a lot of contract, contractions, and getting down and having fun. To protect your back, be sure that it's not out to release, out release, but tuck release, tuck release. I'm almost 65, so sorry, my twerking days were long, are long gone. However, I can still have fun by lift, contract, lift, contract, as opposed to pop, pop, pop. Lift, contract, lift, contract, lift, contract, lift, contract. Ha, ha. At the same time, I'm getting a great workout. It's like doing crunches, but I'm not on the floor. So, double duty. Protecting my back, getting a, work, getting a cardio workout, and getting an ab workout at the same time. I hope that, I hope that helps so that you can continue to have fun. There are so many cardio styles out and there are so many people offering different online content. Uh, as I said before, if it's not live, watch the video first and then join in. If it's live, take these tips to heart. Make sure you've got plenty of space to, to move in. Know whether, what kind of flooring that you are working on and Watch out for things that are on the floor. Remove those obstacles. But if you're like me, I've got a cat, I've got a dog, and sometimes I've got grandchildren running around as I'm working out. You gotta be aware of those little things moving around you. So lots of proprioception, which is really good for you. Keep active, stay safe, Hopefully see you on my next live stream, which is going to be Monday. See you soon.